This is Soweto, South Africa's largest township. More than one million people live here. Many consider Soweto the home of the anti-apartheid movement. In 2002, a memorial and a museum were opened here to honor Hector Peterson, a 13-year-old boy who was shot and killed by police during a demonstration in 1976. Tabo Monoto and Reni Alexander are both poets, and they visit the memorial often. They use their poetry to fight for social justice. I believe um, I have one skill, I have one talent that can change the world, and that is my words. If I can take a picture such as this and translate it, uh, put emotion into it and make people understand the emotional turmoil that these people were going through, but at the same time, they had the courage to stand up and fight for what they believed. So I think as a poet, I believe as a poet, I'm able to change the world with my words. Their works encourage the people of South Africa to stand up for their rights. I'm walking towards a mountain called Truth. It's crumbling and I'm losing ground. But a Prometheus heart beats inside me with a goal to never give up till I give light to the people of the setting sun. The clouds obscuring my vision. I've lost my way but left breadcrumbs for others to be able to perform a rendition of my life's work. A fiction, a fairy tale, the dream of a child to find peace in the darkest abyss. I'm aiming to change people's mindsets, people who live in squatters like this, because I'd, I'd like them to think um, in a way that will help them invest more in their future and stop thinking like a poor person, because it is possible to get out of such a place. When I see things like this, I get hurt because I'm a fellow South African, I'm a fellow black person in this country. Speaking of hurt, I, I was just discussing with Rennie that it really is very painful seeing huge poverty on, on the right hand side and directly to the left you see Kentucky Fried Chicken which basically illustrates the, the effects that capitalism can have. It can be glamorous and on the other side it can be very, very, very gloomy. I'm having to sleep with a gun in hand to protect my young cousins from rape statistics. I'm protesting against the so-called liberation and asking for 10 differences between dictatorship and democracy. And let's hang these shapers and movers for texting breadwinners for their own ambitions. Politics affects my poetry in the sense that I get to expose scandals and corruption that's happening in my country so I can inform the general public about the negative effect that politics has on the general stage of the world, yeah? I share Rennie's sentiments exactly because politics affects me not only as a writer and a performer but also as a citizen. I mean, our president just spent 245 million to renovate his house. I feel more could have been done with that money to uplift his people. Open mic shows are popular in many parts of South Africa. They're a showcase where writers and poets can present their works to the public and a platform for expressing criticism of the current social and political system. Tabo and Reni believe South Africa is moving in the right direction but needs more reforms. They're confident that this will happen. Look, I definitely believe it will because South Africa, we are fighters. We, we come from a history of, of challenge and we overcame. I believe we will overcome once more. I'm thinking time, this country will actually go towards a future that is more prosperous in all aspects. So change is very much inevitable. I love where it's going. I just don't like where it is right now. Tabo and Rennie are using words as weapons in their fight for a better South Africa.